Researchers looking for dark matter find nothing. You know, there are some researchers looking for dark matter. We talked about what dark matter is in a previous Creation Bites. It's matter that's supposed to be there in the universe in order for the mass of the universe to be right, for the universe to work, as it were, with the forces that we know are present in the universe. But there isn't sufficient mass among what we observe to do with the Big Bang Theory. So therefore, they have to postulate this dark matter, in other words, matter that you can't detect. However, in South Dakota, they've come up with a method of trying to detect it, and they have what's called the Large Underground Xenon Dark Matter Experiment. Large Underground Xenon, L-U-X, or the Lux Experiment for short. The idea of this experiment is that eventually dark matter particles going through this large tank of liquid xenon will produce an effect that could be measured. And when that could be measured, that will prove that dark matter exists. So they've been running this uh, experiment for quite a while, 25 years to be exact. And in that 25 years, they have found nothing. And yet they've written a scientific article on it because they're actually proud of the fact they've found nothing. They're quite certain that eventually they're going to find something. One of the scientists said, just because we don't see anything in the first run doesn't mean we don't see anything in the second run. And they're talking about this being the cleanest signal that they've ever come up with in 25 years. Clean because there's nothing there. They've been searching for dark matter for 25 years and they're pleased to report that they have found nothing. That would suggest to me that maybe, and this might be a controversial statement, but maybe that means there's no such thing as dark matter. And if there's no such thing as dark matter, don't forget dark matter is essential for the operation of the Big Bang Theory. If there's no such thing as dark matter, maybe the Big Bang Theory isn't right. What's very interesting is that a number of creationist cosmogonies have been developed and one of the things that these various creationist cosmogonies have in common is that their calculations do not require the idea, the hypothesis of dark matter. No dark matter would therefore seem to be an indication that is consistent with the book of Genesis being true and completely inconsistent with the Big Bang Theory being true.